Now I want to cook with the pecorino back at home. And I'm going to make a spaghetti carbonara. And this really hard cheese is perfect for it. The other thing, of course, is a good chunk of pancetta. Well, pancetta is very light bacon, of course. The, the subtle difference being that it's cured for longer, that it's, it's salted and hung up in drying sheds, a bit like parma ham for much longer than bacon. Therefore, it, it has a more concentrated flavour and it's absolutely essential in a load of Italian dishes. It gives that lovely sort of meaty, salty flavour in the background. Just chop it into chunks or lardons, or as they say in Italian, cubetti, little cubes. Now, one of the things I picked up in Italy, a little tip, which gives me a great pleasure, is how to open a packet of pasta. Don't mess around with the paper or get a knife. Just go like that. Macho stuff. There's loads of stories as to where carbonara comes from, but the one I like most is actually from the Second World War when the, all the GIs were over in Rome and uh, they had loads of bacon and eggs and so the Italians presumably acquired them in a, a legal or illegal way and came up with this dish, bacon, eggs and pasta. So with a pancetta, I put in about three cloves of chopped garlic, a good fistful of parsley, and spaghetti, which goes straight into the pan. Another little tip I picked up in Italy, they often use a little bit of the cooking water of the um, pasta just to, to make a bit of sauce. That's perfect. Another strong contender for the origins of this dish goes way back in time to days of charcoal burners who worked outside the walls of Rome. It's said they used to cook bacon, eggs and cheese on their hot shovels, hence charcoal, carbon, carbonara. This is nearly as popular as spaghetti bolognese, but it's much more typical of Italian pasta dishes because it takes no time to make. I met this Italian chef not so long ago who said, he came from Rome, he said, never use parmesan in carbonara and never use cream. I was a bit embarrassed because I was used to using both. So I said, what about pecorino then? Is it all right to use Sardinian pecorino? Oh, yeah, yeah, he said, but never cream. <laughs>